Well, hi everyone. I'm online right now. I think everything is okay. So now I'm checking the sound and of course the video. Okay. Yeah, I think everything is okay now. So please, if you are online on this live stream, just give me a comment if everything is okay. Uh, do you see the video and how is the sound? So you can just write any comments uh, that you like in the comment section and I will understand that everything works okay. So now I will just wait for some minutes and then of course we are going to start our lesson today and today we will draw beautiful watercolor sketch of course so just a few seconds or we well maybe one minute and we'll begin so write in a comment if everything is okay is uh, if the sound and the video is uh, working fine and then i will begin and while we are waiting please also write in the comment section where are you from maybe are maybe your drawing experience for example maybe you are a watercolor uh, beginner or maybe you are a drawing beginner absolutely or maybe a semi beginner or maybe you have some experience so just uh, share in the comment section and uh, then i will understand how uh, should i explain my lesson today so for the absolute beginners or maybe for those who have some experience so just share your uh, information about yourself in the comment section so well yeah i see that uh, everything is okay with the video and with the sound and of course now we will start and I will change the screen for the uh, second screen. So here we are with the second one. So today we have a free lesson, free online stream lesson, Autumn Letter. Then, of course, I will tell you more about my September sub uh, subscription on Patreon. And I will tell you more about my Patreon and about my lessons, of course. So um, now we'll begin. I will tell you maybe a few uh, minutes the information about myself and about my uh, school and about online uh, drawing actually and about the style of watercolor sketching so if you are new here it will be really interesting for you to know uh, some details about the watercolor sketching style of course so uh, the time and organization points are I think that the online lesson will be for about uh, half an hour maybe two hours uh, we'll begin, of course, with the introduction, then we will draw, uh, I will explain the lesson for you, uh, live stream right now. Then, of course, I will tell you about my September subscription on the Patreon. And then if you have any question, you can ask me here right in the comment section. And of course, I will tell you everything about the lessons and about the subscription or maybe about the watercolor sketching style. So uh, let's begin. Uh, my name is Anastasia. I'm an artist, I'm an art teacher and I'm a co-founder of the Dream Draw Art School. My teaching experience is more than 10 years actually and I have an education of a fine art teacher. So I have a challenge uh, for myself. I draw each day one sketch, one completely uh, well finished sketch for five years already. So I have uh, maybe like two thousands, uh, two thousands year of sketches of drawing done. And well, that's a great experience actually. And 
uh, I am an author of seven art courses, seven online art courses and 33 marathons. And of course, I do art blogging, so everywhere on YouTube, on Instagram and on other different social medias as well. So this is me and uh, let's get acquainted <laughs> together. And of course, if you want to tell uh, something more about yourself, feel free just to uh, share your information about yourself in the comment section or maybe, um, well, uh, you can visit my Instagram also, you can subscribe to my Instagram and tell something about yourself as well. So, and of course, we are drawing in the watercolor sketching style. And I will tell you a few uh, interesting facts about this style, why I love this style and why I think that this style is, well, it is perfect for those who want to start drawing. So if you have no experience in drawing and if you want to uh, start with something, I recommend you to start with watercolor sketching style and I will tell you why, of course. So what it is watercolor sketching style? It is a style of graphic uh, drawings with watercolor usage and some stylization. So uh, you see that we have two main parts is that it is ha it has a graphic, uh, well, drawing. And of course, we use watercolor for coloring and we use also some uh, beautiful techniques for coloring our drawing. And of course, we do lots of uh, stylization. And I think that it is the great point for those who want to express themselves, who want to show the, uh, I don't know, maybe some emotion in their uh, drawings. That's great for the watercolor, watercolor sketching style as well. And of course, there are no strict rules in watercolor sketching and that is why it is easy to start drawing exactly with this style. And of course, you don't need uh, to buy, uh, well, expensive uh, professional materials for this style as well. So first of all, uh, watercolor sketching has, well, actually, well, maybe well, actually no rules, you can do everything that you want in watercolor sketching style. You can use any material, you can use any uh, stylization, you can use any, uh, you can draw everything that you want. You can use watercolor plus white gouache or plus uh, liner plus ballpoint pen. You can use um, everything that you want to show something that you want to share with other people. So if you want to do some kind of a beautiful drawings with perfect results, uh, with bright sketches, so the watercolor sketching style is, well, it is suitable for you. And of course, watercolor sketching uh, style is super affordable. So you don't need to buy uh, well, expensive watercolors, expensive papers, and well, maybe expensive brushes. You don't need all of that. Uh, you can use uh, even the kids' watercolor set, and that will be enough for the watercolor sketches. So, um, yeah, thank you. I see that we have someone also joined here, and uh, I see some comments in the comment section. Hi. Uh, I watched your previous videos. They seemed easy and fun. Thank you. Yeah, and I tried to show that the drawing is... Uh, well, that everyone can start drawing. That's why I use the watercolor sketching style. And that's why I do my videos really easy, really fun. And I try to show that it is, well, it is easy to start. It is easy to take some paper. It is easy to take some ballpoint pen or maybe any colors, any watercolor set that you have and just start doing what you like or what you want to do, of course. Um, many people thought that, um, well, many people think that actually they uh, can't draw, so they are, well, they have no talent or something like this, but I think it's not true. I think that the main point here is in the interest. So if you are interested in, uh, well, creativity, in drawing, I think that if you start with watercolor sketching style, I think you will succeed, absolutely. So 
I have no doubts in that. So uh, let's begin now uh, with our lesson, of course, and I will tell you uh, what materials we need for this beautiful sketch. I have it here right now. So I will also change the screen right now for one minute. And uh, please also write in the comment section if everything is okay uh, with the video. So now I've changed the uh, screen and you will see the, um, well, photo with the sketch and with the watercolors. If everything is okay and if you see the screen, please write any comments and then we'll begin. So I think that, yeah, everything is okay. <laughs> Actually, I also, I'm also checking the um, <clears throat> live stream on my second uh, screen. Yeah, everything is okay. So nice. And now I will tell you what materials we need for this lesson. Of course, first of all, we need watercolor paper, actually any watercolor paper. And I'm using the watercolor paper of A5 format. And you will use, um, well, actually you can use any format that you like, maybe the square or maybe the A4, maybe bigger or maybe smaller. That's up to you. So you can choose any format that you like. But it is important that we are drawing on the textured paper side. Um, any paper has two sides. So one can be uh, smooth and the second one, uh, well, well, it is usually a bit textured. So for the watercolor, we use mostly textured side of the watercolor paper. Then, of course, we need uh, the pencil. Well, any pencil also, well, well, any pencil that you have at home. The waterproof uh, liner or waterproof ballpoint pen, eraser, watercolor set, palette, napkins, one brush, a glass of water and white gel pen. Also, if you don't have a white gel pen, you can, well, replace it uh, and use, for example, a white gouache as well. So here are the materials and now I will go on and we'll start with the drawing itself. I will wait for one minute, of course, uh, for you to prepare all the materials and then we will begin. So just one minute and then we are moving on to the uh, pencil drawing. <clears throat> so you see I uh, have prepared the paper and of course I'm starting with the pencil drawing and I will press the pencil down hard so you will see uh, my drawing on the video better. I always say these words because I know that uh, the, uh, well, the uh, beginners, they uh, want to press the pencil down and the drawing is too dark and it, it will be harder for you to erase the pencil afterwards if you press the pencil down hard as I will do. So I'm doing this only for the video. And of course, the first thing we are doing, we are making two lines as usual. So the first line is vertical line and the second one is horizontal. And now, of course, let's draw two lines that will define the size of the envelope. And two more lines that will show the top part of the envelope and the part where all the leaves will be placed. So actually, we have here just maybe one rectangle on the bottom side of the paper and one small triangle on the top part of the paper, like this. So then I draw one more line here in the center, then two diagonal lines and two more diagonal lines to show the 
uh, well, the whole texture, the whole um, silhouette of the envelope. And of course, you can draw any other envelope that you like. Maybe you can draw uh, the envelope a bit differently. That's okay. So you can, well, draw any envelope that you like, of course. Then I'm making the ovals for the future leaves here. Then the second leaf I'm going to draw here is the maple tree leaf. And I'm doing this with small triangles. So you see I have uh, three triangles here and they will then a bit later form the silhouette of the second leaf. So just triangles. And then I draw first drop and the second one. So we have two uh, small leaves here in the front. And now I'm just making the simple forms of the drops. Then of course the next one here, the bigger one, then the smaller one at the right side at the top. And I think one more I want to draw here on the left side. Again, the leaf here uh, just looks like the small drop or maybe the oval with the top tip here. <clears throat> Great, so we have this silhouette and now let's draw the lines that will form the central vein on each leaf, of course. And on this leaf we have three veins because we have the maple tree here that's why we make three veins here. So, and the next step we should do now, we should make the silhouette of each leaf. And we have the uh, leaf here with the wavy contour. That's why I'm making a bit wavy line. I'm starting with this one, with the uh, left leaf like this then i'm adding one well maybe two waves here to form the silhouette and of course i'm adding the other veins as well the smallest ones then again here i want to draw the same type of the leaf and again i'm just making a wavy line and we have the veins as well here from the central vein like this and these leaves I'm making with the zigzag line on the edges uh, this uh, line is so uh, easy I think that everyone can do this one like a zigzag motion I'm just making the silhouette with this one and when we are moving to the maple tree leaf here, we need to make on each triangle, again, the line with the zigzag motion, but we need to make it a bit, well, a bit differently from the smallest uh, leaves that we have made before. So I will start with this triangle. Then I go down and you see I make a wavy down side here on this area uh, again to show the beautiful silhouette of this maple uh, tree leaf. And again I go up, I do the zigzag line, then again I have the a little drop here, wavy drop. And of course I'm making the other veins here like this. So we have the small leaves and the bigger leaves as well. By the way, um, I want to remind you that you can draw uh, a bit differently. So you can change the silhouette of the leaves, you can also change the, um, well, number of the leaves, the quantity of the leaves and you can draw well a bit bigger or a bit smaller 
that's okay and I think it is up to you because you decide what kind of drawing you will get. And I think it's really nice to have a freedom for you to decide what kind of details you want to add or maybe you don't want to add. But if you are a beginner in watercolor sketching, you just repeat the same thing that I'm doing right now. So, and if you have some experience, of course, you can change uh, lots of details um, just like you want. So, of course, now we are moving on to the outline. And of course, I want to remind you that if you um, well, using the liner, just check is it waterproof or not, or maybe you are using a ballpoint pen, a black ballpoint pen, then again, just check if it is waterproof or not. Uh, you can write something on a separate sheet of paper, you can apply the wet brush and you will see is it waterproof or not. And of course, if it is not waterproof, then make the outline after the watercolor step. So, now I will begin uh, with this black watercolor liner and I will begin with the envelope. Of course, I'm just making the same line here and I'm making the... Um, edges a bit more uh, like the oval like when I have the angles or when I have the straight lines I try to make them a bit more uh, loose a bit more maybe like circle like and of course I'm doing some texture on the envelope I like this effect so much I try to make the dashes, dots, maybe some kind of commas, uh, well, for the texture. And I want to show that this paper maybe is a bit old or maybe we have the, well, craft uh, envelope, maybe it is a vintage craft envelope. That's why I like to show these dots, dashes, uh, points <laughs> uh, with the black liner. So, and of course, we need to make the outline on the leaves as well. And you see, I make the same lines, I make the same motions, zigzag motions for the edges, for the silhouette. And here on the smallest leaves, I'm adding the uh, small veins as well. Like this. So here we are with the next leaf and here I'm making the same line. Maybe, well, I'm changing it a bit right now. So some points, some wavy lines, I make them bigger and maybe other wavy lines, I make them smaller. And again, I'm making the veins and you see that the lines inside the leaf uh, well the veins I try not to uh, press the liner down hard so the lines inside each leaf they are well they are lighter actually than the line um, of the contour so the contour is darker than the lines inside like this so you see I'm adding the extra lines on the veins as well uh, to make the leaves look more natural. And of course here I'm making the outline of the marble tree leaf now. I try to well feel free, feel the line that it is loose. So I'm not sticking uh, exactly to the line of the pencil. I'm changing the line a bit for more maybe sketchy effect, for more uh, free effect. Okay, so we have the line of the envelope there behind the leaves and of course the veins on this leaf as well, like this. 
So great, now I think that the outline is done and I will use the eraser. I'm using this one. It is the Faber-Castell uh, kneadable eraser and this eraser does not damage the watercolor paper. And of course, if you don't have exactly this kind of eraser, it's okay. You can use any other eraser uh, that you have at home. Just apply it really carefully in order not to damage the watercolor paper. And of course, we are erasing all the pencil. So I will use it to remove the pencil from the paper like this. Of course, I'm waiting for you right now. And if you are drawing with me right on the live stream, uh, just uh, let me know if everything is okay, if you are done with the previous steps, so I mean the pencil and the outline, uh, just write any, well, comment, maybe you can write the uh, number, the figure 2, for example, and I will know that we can continue with the uh, watercolor step. So just write something right in the comment section that you are ready for the watercolor um, write maybe the comments or maybe you can write the figure two number two and then i will continue because i need to show you the colors that we are going to use i will tell you the mixtures that we are going to apply on this drawing and of course you see that we have lots of uh well yellow oranges green colors there a bit of the brown maybe mixtures of the uh well green and brown colors as well so they are really very beautiful and i well love to draw the sketches in the autumn palette because i love the autumn so much <laughs> i hope you are uh well I hope you, you do love the autumn as well, like I do. And of course, uh, now we are uh, making the next steps. So first of all, we need to add some water on the palette. Here I have the palette on the right side. And of course, we need to add some water on the watercolor set on each pan. Why we do this thing? So the first thing, of course, when we add some water on the uh, pan, on each pan that we are going to use, it will be easier for us to pick the colors afterwards. And if we add some water on the palette, of course, it will be easy for us to mix beautiful colors. So I think that we are ready now. And we can begin with the mixing colors and preparing the shades for the leaves. So the first color, of course, I will use is the uh, yellow color. So it is the warm yellow color. And I will use it uh, actually, well, on the first leaf, on the central leaf now. And if you have, well, any yellow color just use it also you can use any yellow color um, now i'm showing you the lemon yellow color and then the red color as well so actually you can use any yellow any red and any orange color for these leaves you see that i have also um, picked the second yellow color and now i'm just covering this leaf with the yellow color like this i try to um, make the first layer as fast as i can actually because now it is the time for adding some other colors for example orange so i just place the orange strokes uh, well, randomly actually, and you can also do the same thing. Um, and of course, we need to add some shadows. That's why we are picking the brown color here. And I'm adding the brown color on the yellow color 
while the paper and the color is still wet. So it is the main point that you add any color. Well, you see that I'm using the red color as well. The main point is here that we should add any other color while the first color is still wet and while the paper is still wet, of course. So here is the first leaf that we have done and now we should wait uh, until this leaf will be completely dry and only after that we will add some shadows and some other details. So the first leaf is done and I think now we should do the second one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, see the comment, I'm doing it with you, cannot wait to start coloring, that's great. So I like your mood and I like your um, impatience. <laughs> so now uh, we are preparing the colors for the second leaf and the first leaf, well, we are just living it, we're living the leaf. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we need to wait uh, while uh, it, when it will be completely dry and the first uh, leaf is done now and now let's prepare the colors for the second leaf. So you see I've picked the green color here on my palette and well actually again you can use any green that you have on your watercolor set. I have this one and I'm mixing it a bit with the yellow color on my palette. So the green should be really light, like a yellowish green color like this. It should be really light and I'm covering this small leaf with this one and I want to draw the second leaf again with this color. So after that, I'm adding the ochre. You see, I have the yellow ochre color. And I'm adding the yellow ochre color here on the second part of this leaf. And of course, on this one as well. So I'm placing this color here and I want to make it a bit darker. That's why I'm picking the uh, red color now. And I also pick the brown color as well to make it darker. So you see I have the dark uh, brownish red color here. And I'm just covering the uh, bottom part of the sleeve with this dark color. And I'm also adding just small strokes on the leaf itself. You see the color is just spreading like the stars on the leaf. And we can do this again while the paper is still wet. So the main thing is we add any color while the paper is still wet. So again now we are making the next leaf and here I'm picking the yellowish green color like this. Again I'm just well making the first layer and you see again I try to make it as fast as I can now I'm picking the orange color and I'm adding the orange again with some strokes, some dots um, on the top part of the leaf. And then of course I go down and I color the bottom part of this leaf with orange green color. And I want to make it again a bit darker so I'm using the brown color now. And I'm adding it here on the bottom part of this leaf. Also, I'm adding the dark green as well. And again, I'm adding some lines, strokes, the veins while the paper is still wet. Like this. And the bottom part here should be, well, the darkest on this leaf and of course I'm using the dark green plus brown on the bottom part of this leaf. So now again I'm using the yellow color and now we'll color this one the marble, marble tree leaf. I will use the well yellow color also the orange and the red. 
So the first one is yellow, then a bit more with the orangey mixes. Then again, we go with the yellow color here. And you see, I'm just making, well, quick strokes, quick motions. And now we are making the red part. And you see, I'm making the lines uh, to show the veins here on the yellow color. And I'm doing it again as quickly as I can, because we need to add the red color again while the paper is still wet. So the main technique here is that we are adding lots of colors, lots of shadows, uh, lots of shades, lots of different strokes on the leaf while the paper is still wet. It is actually the basic technique for the watercolor sketching and I really love it. So you see here we are adding the brown color plus red on this part of the leaf and again I'm making it as quickly as I can. So sketching is actually the uh, way that we are doing our drawings. So we need to make them as quickly as we can uh, to make the impressions, to make the beautiful uh, transitions of the watercolors. So one color uh, flows to another color. And of course, we need to move fast sometimes, but it is really fun. So now uh, the color is done for this leaf and I want to make the color for the envelope now. So I'm mixing the colors that I have on my palette. Uh, you see that we have the greenish, uh, well, ochre color and actually the ochre. And for example, if you don't have exactly the same colors on the palette, you can well mostly use the uh, pure ochre for the envelope. And the second color for the envelope here is of course the purple. So I'm using just a regular purple color that I have on my watercolor set. And you see that I have at well, I'm showing you the purple color right now. So any purple, any violet color will do. I'm adding it on the palette as well. And I'm just starting coloring the envelope with a color that I have. Actually, it is the ochre color, close to the ochre. And the color is really light, not that dark. And sometimes I'm just adding the purple color mixed with the ochre to the envelope just to make some, well, nice shades, to make the beautiful transitions, to make beautiful um, strokes on the envelope, to make the strokes maybe a bit uh, cooler sometimes. So, and well, mainly I'm just covering the envelope with this color and sometimes adding the purple on these lines. And again, I'm just making some dots, some strokes here, like this. So great. And of course, now we should wait a bit for the envelope to be completely dry. And after that, we can continue. But now I'm mixing the color for the um, background part of the envelope. Uh, you see that we have the uh, triangle top part of the envelope on the background uh, under the leaves and we need to make the same color uh, as we have used for the envelope but it should be darker. That's why I'm mixing again the purple color plus the color that I have on my palette and actually, again, you can just mix the purple plus ochre and this color will be great. So the color I'm showing you on the palette, again, on the paper on the left side, this color will just suits perfectly. And I'm just picking the color 
using more purple to make the um, color a bit darker and again I'm just coloring these parts of the envelope under the leaves here I'm trying to make it really carefully here we have the small areas under the leaves Sometimes, of course, we can add, for example, more of the brown color to make the um, paint darker a bit. And, of course, we can add the purple color as well for the dark shades like this. And we have one more part here at the top side of the envelope. And again, I'm just, well using the same color and I'm covering this part as well so great one more detail we have so nice now we should wait a bit and of course we have two more uh, leaves uh, left and the first color I'm using is the yellow color and of course I need to add some of the uh, red shades on this one so red orange yellow again will be great on this leaf and I'm making the bottom part a bit darker but not too much so just I'm adding the purple color on this area to form the shadow and we have one more leaf again I will begin with the lemon yellow plus um, green and I'm adding it on the top part then we need to make uh, this leaf darker at the bottom part that's why I'm mixing the uh, brown color plus ochre and I'm just making this leaf here again well we can mix the brown plus green as well so the leaf is really dark here at this area and I try not to cover the um, leaves that we have here so just again be careful here on this area okay so and now it is the time uh, while we are waiting for the envelope and for the leaf to be completely dry now it is the perfect time for adding the splashes you see i have my sketch done here on the left side and you see that i have lots of splashes there i love the splashes so much i think that they uh, give the uh, well a really sketchy and free look on each drawing that i'm making and if you also love splashes, if you like the effect, you can also make them with me now. But of course, if you don't like the splashes, it's up to you. You can, well, skip this step. Um, and the first color I'm using is yellow. So I'm adding the yellow color on the palette and I'm mixing the yellow plus water. So I need to make the color really uh, liquid. So, well, I'm adding lots of water for the great splashes. And now I'm picking the color and I'm just tapping on my brush like this right on the paper. So just feel free and add as many splashes as you like. So the first color is uh, yellow and the second one is uh, red. I want to add the bright shadows on the sketch. The red color and of course now I will add a bit of the shadows on the sketch again i'm just picking the color uh, ochre plus purple and i'm adding some shadows on the sides of the envelope here and also on the leaves uh, well the uh, the leaves actually they are uh, well completely dry right now and now it is the perfect time for the shadows uh, we have the shadows on the leaf from the envelope we have well, lots of shadows 
uh, that we have on each leaf because we have well, one leaf underneath the other we have one leaf on the top and several leaves under the others that's why we need to add well lots of shadows of course so you see i'm just making simple lines and i'm adding the shadows like this and of course i want to add well two kind of splashes to uh tapping motions on the envelope as well uh, with this color i well want to remind you that i'm using the purple plus ochre for the shadows and the same color i'm using for uh, splashes on the envelope like this so great and now we are moving on to the next step but i will wait for you because we need to uh, wait for the sketch to be completely dry uh, for the next uh, stage for the next step for the uh, white gel pen and for the black liner so if you have made the splashes with me just wait while they are well while they are drying just leave the sketch for five minutes maybe and while we are waiting of course i will tell you the effect that we are doing now so now we are on the details step and here I'm also uh, using the white gel pen, uh, you can use the white gouache and you can use the white acrylic paint as well. The first step here is to add some highlights on the leaves, on the envelope and I like to use this step, this technique, well in any sketch that I'm doing on each drawing because we are adding some beautiful highlighted areas and when we are making this plus when we are adding the black liner afterwards uh, we are making our sketch uh, well more contrasty and more interesting for the uh, viewer for the any other person that is looking on your sketch or on your drawing we catch the attention with these two uh, tools with white and with black liner lines i love the effect really i love the contrast look what we are doing now and i love the effect of this final final step but we should wait until our sketch is completely dry of course so while we are waiting i uh, think that we should um, uh, do some commenting so if you have any question right now on this step and if you are ready with the next step you can write again any comments uh, maybe you should um, do the figure three for example uh, write the number free, number, well, figure free, <laughs> and then we'll continue with the next step. So I see that someone is um, drawing with me right now, and if you are drawing with me, it's great, you're great, and I hope that you will get a beautiful sketch. By the way, uh, share your artwork after the lesson in your social media uh, in your instagram or in any other social media that you have with our hashtag um, we have our hashtag i will just write you just in one moment it is hashtag dream and draw school and then i can find your work and i can see what results you have i'm really interested in your results and it will be uh, so nice if you share with me the results that you have after my lessons i will be really grateful for you uh, if you share your work with me so uh, now i think we can continue with the next step of course so um now uh, we are using the white gel pen i remind you that you can use the white gouache but just use the 
smallest brush that you have so really smallest maybe number one or maybe uh, zero or something like this uh, because we need to make the um, tiny lines the small strokes and that is why we need the smallest brush that you have or maybe of course you can use the white gel pen as i will do so <clears throat> yeah we have the uh, hashtag in our comments right now and of course you can use it for uh, sharing your works so now we will continue with the next step and now i'm just adding the lines on the edges of each leaf like this and the edges they are really highlighted now a bit so on each leaf on each vein of course you see that the veins they are mm, well a bit dark and when we are adding the white gel pen they are really highlighted and they became more contrasty as well and also i'm adding some dots uh, lines on the leaves again i want to show some texture on the leaves as well then we go on and make the outline on the other leaves as well like this again the veins so on each leaf as you see i'm adding the lines but i'm not trying to make the line uh well really light or maybe the um identical contouring on each leaf you see that the line is diverse sometimes it is lighter and sometimes the line the white line just disappears somehow uh, on the leaf uh, that's okay i love the effect and if you are using the white gouache i think that the effect will be similar but of course just uh, well use your material use the material that you have i'm sure your sketch will be great as well so the next leaf here again i'm just adding the white gel pen and you see i'm using my finger i'm using it for the removing the extra white pigment that i uh, that i have with the white gel pen sometimes i'm just using the finger to remove the extra paints from the white gel pen and you can do the same so great the last leaf here and again i'm making some dots lines on the leaves for the texture so here we are with the envelope and of course on the envelope i'm making the same lines and the same dots to form the texture to show that again the envelope is maybe old or maybe it is the craft envelope like this so great and now the next step of course now we are using the black liner again or maybe you can use the black uh, ballpoint pen here and now i'm making some lines darker not each line but only some parts of the outline you see the um, corners of the envelope i'm making them darker like this not the whole lines not just each line no i'm just making some parts of the outline that we have here i'm making them darker like this and of course the corners on each side so great and i'm adding just a bit more of the lines dots like this so when we go um, on and we are making the outline on the leaves here again i'm not making the entire line on the each on each leaf um, darker i'm just making some parts of the lines darker to show maybe the uh, thickness of the leaves and maybe to show the uh, darker veins that we may well see on the leaf 
So we need to make the line a bit more uh, diverse and interesting here on this point. You see, I'm making some parts of the line darker, not the entire line. And of course, the veins. So I'm making them with the quick motion like this, like I'm starting making the line and then I'm dropping the liner. I'm picking the liner up from the paper. And it is the really nice motion for the veins, just a quick motion like this. And the lines on this leaf as well. So great, you see that uh, the drawing is changing really, uh, well, really, really, well, huge effect when we are using white gel pen uh, plus black liner. You see the difference. So you see the watercolor uh, layering and then you see the next step. Uh, you see the details that we are adding now. And I love the effect really so much. So now the last thing we should do here, of course, is to put a signature. And I will place it here on the central part at the bottom of my sketch, right here. And of course, our sketch is ready. So the lesson is over and now we are moving on to the uh, next part of our today live stream. Of course, now we are moving to the September subscription presentation on my Patreon. And now while I'm switching the um, screens, please write any comment. Uh, write your um, well expectations and your uh, impressions on of the lesson that we have right now. Um, maybe you can write some results that you have. Maybe you can share your artwork uh, on your social media with a hashtag. I will be really grateful if you give me the feedback on this lesson. Um, so just write any comment that you like while I'm switching the uh, screen. And if you are interested in uh, lessons, in watercolor sketching lessons, and if you like the uh, way I'm making the lessons and the way that I'm drawing, so you can join to my subscription of course on the patreon just uh, one minute and i will continue with the next part so like this here okay um how may I share um, you my art piece? Uh -huh. So I see yeah, the question. Actually, you can use the uh, Instagram if you have uh, the link on my Instagram or maybe you can uh, send uh, the direct message uh, in the Instagram, on my Instagram or you can just uh, make the post in your Instagram and tag my account and I will see your drawing. You can do it, well, right now, uh, maybe 10 minutes later, anytime uh, when you are ready, just share your uh, sketch with our hashtag. So the hashtag now is written in the comments. It is hashtag Dream and Draw School. And also just tag my account uh, on Instagram. It is uh, Dream and Draw uh, dot school. And I will see uh, your result and I will see your art um, there. So great. Now I think we can continue with the next part. And I want to um, share uh, the information about my subscription on the Patreon that I have. So 
here is the program for September uh, on my Patreon and I want to show you what are the sketches, what are the drawings that we are going to draw this month. So I have uh, two um, plans on the subscription on my Patreon and the first one is for absolute beginners. So you see uh, here three sketches that is included in the absolute beginners plan. So the first one is leaf, autumn mood, uh, leaf with the water drops. Then the second one is the mushroom with the snail. And the third one is the cup of the pumpkin latte. I don't know what is exactly there, but I think it is really nice and tasty. So we have three um, sketches on this plan, on Absolute Beginner's plan. Also, I have this second plan for the beginners or for those who have maybe some kind of experience in drawing or in watercolor or maybe in watercolor sketching. So we have the sixth lesson on the second plan. Uh, it is called Beginner's Plan beginners plus plan and of course the beginners plus plan includes this free sketches and it includes more so it includes three more sketches here and you can see them right now so here we have the boots with the autumn leaves we also have the um, mystical forest mystical autumn forest with a deer with a silhouette of a deer and of course we have the uh, beautiful sketch with the castle uh, well surrounded by the autumn forest so i love these sketches really much and all these sketches they are absolutely suitable for the beginners so some sketches are a bit easier this one this well, not one but this three is a bit easier and this three they are a bit harder but not too much of course they are all really very suitable for the beginners and for those who have some kind of experience in watercolor or in watercolor sketching or maybe in drawing uh, so we have the program for the september if you like the program, again, just uh, share your opinion in the comment section uh, which one you like the most, uh, which sketch you like the most and maybe uh, which, uh, what sketch you would like to draw first of all. Um, the leaf, the mushroom with the snail, the cup with the pumpkin latte, the boots with the autumn leaves, the mystical forest, <laughs> the mystical autumn forest with the uh, dear silhouette or maybe you like uh, the most the sketch with the castle uh, surrounded by the autumn forest so just share your opinion i will like to know uh, what kind of sketches you like to draw most of all and what themes you love the most just share in the comments so what else is included in this subscription uh, we have some preparatory lessons for beginners, of course, uh, for example, if you are a complete beginner, absolute beginner, and you don't know uh, what to buy, for example, what watercolor uh, set you should buy, uh, what watercolor paper you should buy, uh, what brushes, what um, well liners, we have the lesson about the materials that you will need for uh, for our lessons, of course. Then we have the um, lesson for the pencil and liner practice. I'm giving you some uh, exercises for a better understanding how to use the pencil and how to use the liner or, for example, ballpoint pen. They are the same. I'm giving you the uh, exercises for hatching, for textures and for well basic usage of the liner also i'm giving you the uh, lesson for watercolor practice as well as um, i'm telling you the main things uh, the main techniques on how to use the watercolor 
how to pick the right amount of water, how to make these transitions, how to use um, paper wet on wet, how to make the transition from one color to another. I have all these things on this lesson. So watercolor practice lesson is very helpful for the beginners. So also we have past month's tutorials well open for those who are joining my Patreon subscription of course. For now we have uh, 16 uh, lessons for absolute beginners and we have 32 uh, lessons for beginners plus plan and I'm just going to show you the sketches that we are well drawing there in my subscription so uh, they are really nice beautiful and bright and they are all in watercolor sketching style so you see we have the apple happy llama tree the cactus the hydrangea the lighthouse the poppy fish well really light uh, really bright <laughs> sketches just popping um with the bright colors and of course some of them are uh, made with well with just kids watercolor and i'm telling you the uh, basic um, things basic techniques for the kids watercolor exactly you can see the photo where i have the watercolor set on the right side it is the kids watercolor set so even with the simplest watercolor you can do uh, the sketches like this so it is it is possible it is really possible so we can use any any watercolor that is affordable for you to start drawing beautiful sketches then we are going on and you see we have these lessons also included in our patreon subscription so we have the coffee pot with croissant a uh, house a bunny in a cup, a cage with the birds and flowers. We have the cupcake, a tasty cupcake, a juicy watermelon. Then we have a very nice and beautiful sketch with the perfume. And of course, we have the flamingo. Really nice one. Then we go on and we have here the pizza, the landscape, the uh, window. Again, the tree. It is the sakura tree. Then we go on, well, lots of, lots of beautiful and bright sketches. We are already uh, have added in our Patreon subscription. And you can, for example, buy today, um, buy, well, um, in five minutes and start drawing all these beautiful uh, drawings. And I'm sure you will get a beautiful sketch because all of the lessons, they are really, really detailed and i teach every step i tell you each uh, movement that i'm doing here on each lesson uh well on each step actually so we have the ice cream tulip uh well baked with love uh, cookies and the beautiful uh, lilies of valley then we are moving on and here we have the duckling peaches house and beautiful um, flowers with the lantern so we have the sunflower the lollipop candy the whale and the strawberry so that's all well so many lessons and of course we are adding each month new lessons and September program is like this. So we have three lessons for the absolute beginners and six lessons for the beginners plan plan. So and of course um, for these plans you can also uh, join right now uh, via link in the description uh, of this live stream. And also I will add uh, the link in the comment section as well. 
So uh, we have two plans, as I've said before, the absolute beginner, it is $5 a month and we have the beginners plus plan, it is $10 a month. And what is included? So the uh, absolute beginners plan, we have materials video, a liner plus pencil practice video, watercolor practice video, absolute beginners tutorials every month. Uh, and of course, past month's absolute beginners plan tutorials. Also, on the Beginners Plus plan, we have the same things like Materials video, a Liner Plus Pencil practice video, Watercolor practice video, Absolute Beginners tutorials every month, plus Beginners Plus tutorials every month, and of course, the past month's Absolute Beginners and Beginners Plans Plus Plans tutorials. So, uh, the Absolute Beginners is for absolute beginners in watercolor sketching and in drawing and beginners plus is for those who have some kind of experience in drawing and of course questions if you have any questions right now about my subscription about the lessons and about the um, well watercolor sketching style just feel free and ask me any question that you like and I will tell you right now while we are online. So I see that we have one comment here as well. So you are writing that your, well, my art work is still wet. I'll share it on my Facebook and Instagram profile with your hashtags. Okay, thank you so much. I really enjoyed the process. Thank you. Thank you. I really enjoyed the um, uh, drawing online by the way and I think that I will do more of the online lessons soon well of course I'll let you know I'll let you know in the um, Instagram and on my other social media as well so of course we have the um, a link uh, for my patreon in the comment section right now and of course i have the link to my patreon in the uh, description of the video so you can join right now and uh, you can start drawing these beautiful sketches so now the questions uh, where can i watch the lessons so it is obvious we are watching the lessons on the patreon of course and when you are um, uh, joining uh, for the subscription of course you will watch the lessons on my patreon page so well all the whole lessons each lesson is on my patreon uh, what materials do i need for your lessons uh, well, I also have the um, lesson about the material that we are using again on my Patreon page and it is open, it is free, so you can just uh, go uh, via link, well, it is the same link actually, so you can uh, watch the uh, whole, um, well, video about the materials on my Patreon page but the uh, materials they are the same so watercolor paper pencil a uh, waterproof black liner watercolor set uh, the palette napkins glass of water two brushes the bigger one and the smaller one and of course the white gel pen so that's enough for the lessons that i have on my patreon subscription um, and the last question you are uh, usually asking me uh, what if I'm a beginner in drawing are the lessons suitable for me so uh, yes and the main thing is that the lessons they are very detailed I'm telling you each step I'm doing I'm telling you each line I'm drawing on the video so the uh, process is uh, really um, high uh, with high resolution uh, filmed the videos they are clear and visible you can see all the details I'm doing and of course you can uh, pause the video anytime that you like you can remote and watch the step again 
and I know what kinds of mistakes the uh, beginner can do or any other person can do uh, while they are studying. That's why I try to um, well, uh, make the directions, make the uh, my lessons in the way that I'm trying to preventing you from making the mistakes. And I'm telling you uh, beforehand what you should do or what you shouldn't do uh, in the lessons to make a beautiful sketch. So I think that the lessons, they are completely suitable for beginners because we have the, um, well, really uh, nice colors. We have the um, not that difficult themes here on this Patreon subscription. So. I think you can feel comfortable and confident if you are a beginner. And of course, you can ask me any question you like uh, on the Patreon and of course um, on Instagram. If you have any question, you can ask me and I will tell you uh, the answer. I will uh, tell you the, uh, well, maybe some advices about the uh, lessons that we have in the Patreon subscription. So just feel free to ask me and feel confident if you are a beginner. I think the lessons, they are absolutely suitable for the uh, beginners in drawing and in watercolor sketching. So uh, yeah, uh, we have the same um, link here in the comment section again. Uh, yes, and we have the uh, link for the material lesson also. Uh, we have actually the video on the YouTube channel here as well and you can watch it here if you want to. If you have any questions also you can uh, write in the comment section um, of on this video about the materials and of course I will answer them as well. So I think we are now can finish our today's live stream. And if you have any question, if you are watching this online lesson um, recorded afterwards, maybe not today, not on the 1st of September, maybe on the 2nd and then the next day and the next day. So if you have any question, again, just write in the comment section and of course I will answer your question as well. You can uh, write me um, on Instagram, on the direct messages, you can write here on YouTube, anywhere you like, you can uh, write your question and I will answer your question as well. So. Just join us, join my Patreon subscription, let's draw together and open a world of creativity, open the world of watercolor sketching and let's enjoy the creativity and the uh, beautiful inspirational autumn season together. So, okay, I will waiting you, I will wait for your um, works. Uh, share your works on your social media, on your Instagram with our hashtag uh, Dream and Draw uh, School and also tag my account uh, Dream and Draw dot school on Instagram as well. So uh, have a nice day, have a nice evening and have a nice weekend and see you in the next lessons and see you in my Patreon. Bye bye.